So I, I, I want to um, start with something that's a little different, but there's a point. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it is also there's a point I want to make about this. Um, Dorsey, can we roll that uh, very creative ad that just came out? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will be to save Texas. To do so, you must recruit an exceptional team of congressional candidates. They must be courageous, patriotic, and absolutely fearless. talks to now you, you get the idea with this then he recruits the women and i want to thank these officers for a job well done hey beth when you're finished over there texas could use your help So uh, that's what the Republicans are doing right now in terms of organizing. Um, <laughs> there's there's a lot to say about this ad, right? And, and we obviously didn't show because it it's five minutes long. But what really stuck out to me was how the Republicans have actually sh- shifted how they portray women um, to win female votes. That's really what's at stake here in, in Texas right now. They're, they're fighting over um, a key group of, of female votes, which I think many said delivered Trump um, in other states, but a very similar uh, dynamic. But these are not your traditional, the way that they traditionally um, portray women in in the Republican Party. And yet the Democrats still do that. So, um, you know, I want to go to you guys and get your, your, your takes on that and just how the Republicans seem to be shifting how they portray women in leadership. How about Laura? I can see your face. You're like, <laughs> um, let me see. I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit. I mean, I no. I think you're totally spot on. I think that there's, um, you know, I do think that there's been some shifts going on in um, in women stepping up into leadership more in the past ten years um, in um, in a number of industries in my industry. And I think, I mean. Um, it does seem like the Republicans are attuned to that in some way or trying to, um, you know, trying to run with that. Um, and I would, I mean, I would agree with you that the Democrats are very much, uh, you know, kind of stuck in a rut um, that feels very much like still doing politics the way they were throughout the 2000s. Um, and that, you know, uh, yeah, that's all I'll say for now. <laughs> what do you think, Natalie? Um, I mean, I think that this is a point that's been made a lot. I think that Republicans are very interested in cultural power. Uh, They have so much institutional power right now. Uh, They control uh, at least part of all three branches of government. Uh, They obviously have a very strong hold on capital power, serve the donor class. Uh, But I do think that they feel um, a lot of resentment over the fact that liberals control uh, TV, movies, pop cultural conversation, uh, mainstream media, at least as far as pop culture goes, tends to be liberally skewed. Uh, and I think that this is probably catering to that in some way. Um, you know, I mean, the winds are changing in terms of the way that uh, people talk about women in mainstream cultural conversations. And I think that they're trying to play into that. I mean, it seems like it's very much like a lean in kind of uh, Shel Sandbergy type of feminism, you know? Oh, look at it. There's a businesswoman. I mean, one of them was like, athlete. Like, the, the, mm-hmm. <laughs> she's an athlete, so let's elect her. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's mind boggling. Thanks for watching and listening to The Nomi Key Show. But remember to click like and subscribe on YouTube and please share on social media. If you're not already a patron, please join us for as low as $5 a month on patreon.com slash The Nomi Key Show for early and special content. That investment makes a huge difference. We are not corporate media raking in the dough. It's really you guys that are keeping us going. So please consider being a patron. And to our current patrons, thank you so much. We are incredibly grateful to you. We also now have swag. So check us out on the to get your mugs, your totes, and your stickers.